Orc runs a health and fitness channel on Twitch who runs 10Ks for charity in a suit of armor, uses programming skills, and equipment make it possible for him to stream in high quality on the go with his specific setup, has plenty of visually stimulating mechanics to the interface, treks in beautiful scenery to cinematic music, interacts with the chat as well as other people in real life in a genuine and wholesome way, and a mysterious man whose faceless quest achieved him great success. Every detail in the stream is objectively detailed. Performance, programming, marketing, and feedback are all positive experiences for the most part. Specifically, scenery keeps changing, the night suit draws you in, all of the overlay assets give you important information, the animations are looped but don't feel like it because of how perfectly it's integrated, the donation sound is a subtle hint slash reference that becomes so blatantly obvious once you realize it, and the detailed timeline from zero to tower gives an expectation of what's to come, creating a wholesome experience where you want to keep watching. In order to get to the end, one must start by immediately recognizing the orc armor. Contrary to popular belief, it's not actually made out of metal, rather a suit made of foam and lined rubber. Custom made by an Italian. I need, that's very insensitive. Yeah, I got the armor. It's actually custom made, custom made from Italy. So I didn't make it myself. I thought it'd be kind of cool to do sort of like a bad guy. And I do like Lord of the Rings, good meme material. I get interesting reactions from people because they don't always laugh right away, but they definitely like react right away. Along with the suit of armor, he'll occasionally equip a sword, which is also made of foam, a pippin, doll, or if he thinks it's gonna rain, an umbrella. On the back of the armor is where the magic happens. Using a Mac pack, Mac pack, using a MacBook and a backpack with not only fans turned on the way, but with an ice pack on it, which is connected to a mic below his eye. I probably shouldn't do that. <laughs> Two phones with SIM cards, a GoPro, and an Apple Watch. He has the ability to adventure to distant lands. Oh, well, you only see the R. I can't do it. My body is killing me. I'm trying to... This is not working out too well. Oh, well, you can only see his armor. Since the hidden technological tools are present, this leads to an interface experience where each individual integration is vastly important. The logo for obvious branding. Donation command, link, and charity of choice if one wishes to donate to the cause that he's running for. Donation goal to show how much money he's raised for said charity. Basic Streamlabs integration overlay that every single streamer uses. Heart rate monitor that is actually accurate, made possible by his custom-made iOS app, connected to his watch. Timeline, which not only shows how far he's traveled, bruh, as well as integrated animations for every time he passes a checkpoint, but that a little animated loop of a knight is running across the screen, which is as informational as it is adorable. Aww. Follower notifications shows the little guy swinging in great celebration. Celebra- Celebration? Celeb- celebration screen <laughs> for when he completes his run. Timer, which shows how long he's been running for and is longer than I've run in my entire life. <laughs> While Orc runs, he'll activate what is called a ring run challenge, a mini game where he has to run to get to the tower. This simple addition to the stream makes it more diverse, entertaining, and exciting to see if he's gonna beat one of his best times. Different energetic music will orchestrate this performance, vastly contrasting to the walking music, spurring him on towards the tower. During this time, if he's approaching the end of the 10K, it will show 10K on the tower. After crossing to victory, the orc march commences. Whoever the last 100 donors were, they appear as knights, run, march, run, march, doing the thing. They appear as knights running across the screen as epic battle music plays while their custom messages are being shown. It's like how much more engaged can you get when you can almost have like your own little orc avatar part of this giant squad that raises money. No matter which of the three screens he may enable on demand, one of the through lines of all three is music. Kind of like Mateo's new EP, haha. <laughs> Classics such as the Lord of the Rings soundtrack, 
which I can't play because copyright. Dark Souls soundtrack, which I think I can play because it's a video game as long as I tag the video as Dark Souls, which it is, hot loophole, or basically any soundtrack. Not only themes his streams, but better integrates both the walking and the running songs. Lighter songs for walking, heavier songs for running. With these songs in a program list he manually adds, most of the time you get this very inspirational, adventurous, and medieval sense of wonder and empathy sense of accomplishment. Or you could just play Eminem because that's totally the same thing. <laughs> Similar to music, like Mateo's EP, listen to it already. A sense of wonder can also be connected to the beautiful scenery. Every quest, whether a running stream or a hiking stream, a multitude of valleys, more valleys. <laughs> Valley girls, probably. A multitude of mountains, valleys, forests, city outskirts, and parks will be present. And some of the best ones, he'll take a picture of. Isengard Beats, yeah. Isengard Beats Radio. Besides being a mobile radio station, the level of interaction with his viewers as well as his surroundings creates this very natural experience for the viewer. Since not only is he interacting with them directly, like right now, but a natural storyline is always being created in front of everyone's eyes. Interacting internally with the viewers is natural for him and has led to everyone being so freaking polite in the chat. If he gets a sentence thrown at him, he'll respond with a paragraph, asking questions to them directly to keep them engaged. Occasionally talking about ideas on how to make the stream better. Example being his plan when winter hits. Letting the subs choose the songs when challenges are in progress. All this interaction is possible thanks to not only his hard work of creating a uniquely streamed experience, but for r slash distant socialing for marketing his creativity. Since Orc Run streams half of his runs to Reddit, usually getting the top streamer spot, and then jumps over to Twitch to create a core audience experience. Why is this the back, bruh? Meanwhile, in the external world, interaction is still present, except it's with people who are external forces of the storyline. While he doesn't mind talking to people, unlike me, where I'm like, just leave me alone and don't give me any attention right now because all I want to do is listen to Corpse on Spotify. I, I mean, Mateo's EP. <laughs> In a general sense, people just give him looks, which is funny, but other times, unexpected situations occur that no one expects. Ow. Just like that! Oh my gosh! What? Oh, but then if I'm going that way, I have no idea where I'm going. I'm actually lost here. I don't think the lady helped me much. Because if I keep following this way, unless I cross over a bridge, which I don't remember one, I'm gonna always be on the wrong side of the river this way. And are some of the most memorable moments from- Memorable? And are some of the most memorable moments from the stream. Simple situations like a group of people sitting and waiting for him as he passes them on by, them cheering in the background, help build the natural storyline. Like me continuing to say Mateo's EP when that wasn't scripted or planned just like that, which works better live, mostly because of the genuine interaction with this chat. And the fact that this is a guy in real life doing this, which means nothing is scripted, unlike this. Actually, this part, this part isn't scripted, but the part before, <laughs> I need to just shut up. <laughs> Leading to tense moments, such as the dog chase. Genuineness not only comes with the content, but the whole entire premise of this content is to raise money for charity. With raising over $4,000 to charity so far for global giving, American Heart Association, the California Fire Foundation, and Save the Children, three of which being fully funded, that's crazy, his streams are a success. While using Tiltify as a stream integration to make sure all of the money goes towards the actual charities that he's raising money for. Since Tiltify has... <laughs> 
Bruh. Since Siltify has direct connections to each charity that they partner with, as well as countless influencers using their integration on the daily to raise money for charity. It's all very inspiring and shows that. In his words, I'm just a guy trying to make the world a better place in an orc costume. Such a simplistic answer. Yet no one asks, who is Orc Run? Nobody really knows. Especially since he's covered his tracks pretty well, much like his face. As to make sure that the illusion is never ruined. Adding not only to the mystery, but to keep the viewer intrigued. The only info he makes known are on his streams, which makes sense considering the fact that it makes you want to ask him questions since nothing is public about him elsewhere. So since the only public info was in the VODs and no one else wanted to take about 16 hours to watch all of them, someone had to do it. This is a very uncomfortable position. From the VODs, we learn that he is a bilingual Canadian programmer who can speak Polish, unlike me because I'm American scum who only knows one language, and went to school for computer science and programming, unlike me because I never went to college. <laughs> Which makes sense considering how much coding he'd actually have to go through to make every single integration on his stream actually work. Working on what he deems to be social work, very general term, I'm not 100% sure what that means, but okay. He currently has 12 overnight shifts, holy cow dude, meaning that yes, he willingly chooses to run 10k before work, which he trained for. Like over the winter, I ran every single workout, 3 or 4k every single time, and then at one point I was running my 10k almost every day until I got injured. While watching, you'll not only notice how open-minded he is. Yeah, I mean, there's a plus side of not taking care of your body. In a way, you can actually kind of save money. You gotta actually like spend quite a bit on food to keep yourself fit and stuff. And it's all, honestly a lot of time too. Sometimes that time could be put better use for example towards uh studying maybe opening up a business or something fitness is is nice but not necessarily a necessity in my opinion because there's a lot of people that just don't work out and they get along just fine that he always wants the focus to be on donating to the charity first instead of him if you want to donate to the charity please donate to the charity first and then if you want to sub to me then you sub to me that he is constantly trying to improve his craft Mac and cheese, ha! Yeah, cause he's Canadian. Like there's gonna be the, the donation orc march, and then there's gonna be like the, the other part of the march where if you upgraded your, your look, it'll show you changing at the end. If people do donate a lot, they'll earn different actual armors, whereas people that watch, they can change colors. Yeah, I think it's a really good idea too. And that whenever something goes wrong, kinda like how that fell from down there and I improvised to just put it down there, he doesn't get angry. Rather, he goes with the flow. Kinda like what I had to do because I'm running out of battery. <laughs> Flowing back to generalities, Orc Run never ceases to amaze in every single department of his craft. Dedication is always present, encompassed by his attire, programming, interactions, and wholesome heart to act towards raising money instead of sitting on the sidelines of ponderment. Pondering on occasion isn't wrong, but there always comes a point where action must be taken, which is what Orc Run has done and will hopefully continue to do. Similar to Orc Run, if you believe that you can genuinely help someone, then do it. It doesn't matter how much work or how hard you may think it be, what matters is being there for anybody who needs it. To be more selfless in a self-centered world is beautiful and powerful. So while it is important to help yourself, you can always find someone in need of help.